This is an unsponsored video that contains products provided without charge by the manufacturer for demonstration purposes. All opinions are my own. This is the Solo Stove Bonfire that I reviewed a year and a half ago, and it's gotten quite a bit of use out of it. But today, I'm going to introduce you to this, which is the new Solo Stove Bonfire 2.0, which has some awesome features that make it much better than the original version. I'm going to tell you about that coming up. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud, and today we're going to compare two bonfires. The Battle of the Bonfires. All right, here you can see the original Solo Stove, and it has a lot of miles on it. I've had quite a few fires in here, and you can see it definitely ages to a nice, nice bronze patina over time but certainly no rust, it is stainless steel, but the discoloration is certainly normal. Now, one of the big differences is really in the ash grate down the bottom. In the original version, the ash grate is fixed. It was actually welded in as part of the structure, and there is an ash tray underneath that, and it is also fixed. So in order to empty the old fire pit, you had to turn it over, and that wasn't that big of a deal, but if you burn wood with nails and things like that in it, they would get stuck underneath the grate and it would just take a little bit harder to get clean. Now the new one is exactly the same size. It has the same fire ring on top. This is needed because it keeps the fire towards the middle and helps with the smokelessness. Obviously the same holes around the inside. This is where the heated air comes up through the walls and comes out this way for a secondary burn around the top. But the changes on 2.0 are all with the grate down the bottom is now removable. So you can take that out to clean the ashtray below it. Take this out, dump your ashes the next day, and you don't have to worry about ever picking this up. You can kind of keep it, if you want to install it someplace permanently in your yard, you can do that. You don't ever have to turn it over. Now you can see in here, these parts are welded together with the side walls. So this is structurally sound whereas the grate was part of the structure in the old one. You can see under here, there's a big hole in the bottom. That's where the air comes in from the holes on the side. Air comes in down here, comes out that hole down the bottom, which not only provides oxygen for your fire to burn better, but it also allows air to come up through these side walls when the fire gets going really well. And you see that secondary burn coming out here. It's a beautiful fire from a solo stove. Now, since the new version is exactly the same size as the old version, all the accessories you may have from the old version will still work on the new one. Like you can see here, this is the screen, which is great if you've got a fire that's crackling and you want to protect any kind of uh, sparks from coming out of it. I've got the, uh, the tongs here and the poker. Now you can see this fire ring holds the solo stove off the ground. So if you have any kind of a combustible surface or you want to use this on your grass, you always put this ring underneath it and that just keeps any of the heat away from whatever might be combustible here. So this weatherproof cover certainly has seen some better days, but it is still fine. Cool thing about it is it has ribs in the top of it so that it sheds the water. It makes a nice little, you know, a roof for the top of it. And that way no water gets stuck inside. And of course it fits on the new version just as well as the old one. All right, let's take a look at the weight difference between these two. Here's the original, about 21 and a half pounds. And here's the new one. And that's 21.15. That's a little bit lighter than the old version. After it's all cooled and you're ready to put it away, you put everything back inside of it, including the ring upside down, and then you're ready to take it with you. You'll find a link to the Solo Stove Bonfire and all the other versions, as well as accessories, down in the video description below. This is so pretty out of the box, I hate to burn a fire in it and make it dirty, but you know, what's the point of having a clean fire pit? So let's go put some wood in it and see how it works. I started the fire with a good amount of dry kindling from the woods behind my house. My backyard torch does a great job of igniting the kindling, but a torch certainly isn't necessary. If you don't have one, you can just put your kindling over newspaper or dryer lint and use a lighter to get it started. After the kindling was burning really well, I added a few logs to the fire. 
It's typical to get some visible smoke when adding fresh wood to the fire until it starts burning. But the smoke doesn't last long because the logs ignite really quickly. A few minutes later the fire was going really well and I switched cameras to record in slow-mo because that's the best way to appreciate the beauty of a solo stove fire. Normal fire pits are starved of oxygen because it only comes in from the top of the fire. Solo stove provides an abundance of oxygen at the bottom of the fire where it's needed the most, plus superheated oxygen coming out of the holes at the top. That's what enables the mesmerizing secondary burn that makes this fire smokeless. Even after the fire has slowed down, you can see very little visible smoke here. Compare that to the smoke visible in this video from my old fire pit. There's just no comparison to the beauty of a solo stove fire. A lot of people think solo stove provides no warmth out the sides because of its double wall construction. The outer wall does get too hot to touch, so I'm sure it generates some radiant heat out the sides, but I have no way to measure that. Regardless, it doesn't compare to the heat that comes out of the fire at the top. Like every other fire pit, your knees burn while your feet freeze. To help improve the radiant heat, they released a new heat deflector accessory that sits above the fire and glows red to warm everyone around it. I haven't had the opportunity to try it yet, but the reviews say it's awesome. When I've had enough and want to call it a night, I place the shield on the solo stove for safety and let it burn out on its own. You never want to pour water on a hot solo stove because the thermal shock can damage the welds and ruin your fire pit. All right, it is the next morning and the fire is out. Certainly out completely. And this is where the advantages of the new version, this 2.0 version come into play because I have the ability to pick this up. That makes it so much nicer. Pick that up, pick this up, take it through the ashes in the garden, do whatever I need to do with them. It's just, it's a wonderful thing. If you never had a solo stove, you'll be glad you waited for Bonfire 2.0. If you already have one, it's a really good improvement that might justify upgrading. You can give the old one to a friend or sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Leave me your thoughts in a comment. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.